So friends, the next question related to constructors concept, just observe. Given class CD, int R, CD of int R, this dot R is equal to R. Okay, class DVD extends CD, int C, DVD of int R, int C, line 1. Have you observed? Sir, CD is a class which contain one instance variable int R. Okay, now this uh, constructor is the responsible to perform initialization for that instance variable. Next, uh, class DVD extends uh, CD. Next, uh, int C. Int C. So, I am creating child class for CD. Sir, the name of the child class is uh, DVD. Int C. DVD of int R, comma int C. And, uh, sir, this is the responsible to perform initialization. Okay, for R, R variable is coming from the parent. And C is the DVD, its own instance variable, right? Sir, line 1. Okay, and given the code fragment, DVD, DVD is equal to new DVD of 10, 20. 10, 20. R will become 10 and uh, C will become 20. I am creating an object for the child class, right? Okay, well. Now, which code fragment should be inserted at a line 1? Which code fragment should be inserted at line 1 to instantiate DVD object successfully? Okay, line 1 means uh, this, is the, this is the place, right? So, in this place, in the child class constructor, which code we have to place to instantiate DVD object successfully? Okay, like uh, first option, super.r is the R. This dot C is equal to C. Second option, super of R, this of C, sir. Third option, super of R, this dot C is equal to C. Fourth option, this dot C is equal to R, super of C, sir. Yes, these are the four options uh, what we have. So, which is the correct answer, right? Yes, take uh, a bit very special care related to this one. What is the important conclusion here is, Sir, if a parent and a child, parent class constructor contain argument constructor, child class contain two argument constructor. Now, so what things we have to take care, take very, very special care about this one, sir. If the parent contain, okay, argument constructor, from the child class, while defining child class constructor, we have to take a bit special care, okay? So compulsory, we require to call this constructor. If I'm not calling this constructor, so what it's going to do? Compiler is always going to play, so super. Are you getting? So in the child class, the first line inside child class constructor should be either super or this. If we are not writing anything, it is always, compiler is always going to place super bracket open bracket close, which is the no argument call. No argument constructor not available in the parent, immediately compatible method you are going to get. So, compulsory, don't give the chance to the compiler like this. You have to call this constructor explicitly. Means, uh, compulsory we have to take care super of R. Because R is coming, super of R means, uh, sir, can you please call parent class constructor, which is responsible to uh, initialize for instance variable R. Okay, well. Next, uh, sir, do you know, here, so after this one, the remaining variable is C, sir. See, now I have to perform initialization only for C. That's why. So, this uh, dot uh, C is equal to C, sir. If you can take uh, these two lines, then perfectly, sir, this code is going to work. Are you in the position to understand which code we have to take, sir? So, for of R, so that, so this R, whatever I am getting, I am sending to the parent class constructor, so that parent class constructor is the responsible to perform initialization. Next, after that, child specific instance variable is there. Can you please perform initialization for this child specific instance variable? Right. Okay, that's all. If I do like this, perfectly, this code is going to work, sir. Okay, just uh, have a look once. Uh, here, I took the code. I took the code. Class uh, CD int R. Okay, CD of int R like uh, same code only. This is the line 1. Okay, sir, inside the test class, DVD, DVD is equal to new DVD like this I am taking, sir. So, first thing what I have to take, first thing what, what I require to take. So, let me send uh, super of R. Okay, let me send super of R. 
this dot c is equal to c sir this dot c is equal to c so in child constructor if you can take these two lines then happily the code is going to compile so there is no problem at all now observe carefully sir have a look once happily the code compiles fine we are not getting any error next if i execute this code happily the code is going to run we are not going to get any error because syntactically everything is the correct sir okay well sir now what about the remaining options so which option is the correct option for our requirement right sir now observe that so this is the correct option so prof r next this of c this is the correct option sir sir why the first option is wrong why the first option is the wrong the reason for that is the first line inside every constructor should be either super or this so either super the first line inside every constructor should be either super or this if you are not writing anything compiler is always going to place super without any argument so so in this case compiler will place super without any argument but the parent class doesn't contain no argument constructor that's why immediately compile time error you are going to get that's why this option a is invalid let me show this one have a look once sir here instead of this instead of this option one i'm taking sir observe this if i can take uh, option one option one i'm taking sir that's all this is not the sir like uh, like this one right what will happen is now in this case observe the compile time error yes observe the compile time error constructor cd in class cannot be applied cannot be applied to cannot be applied to given types given types so found no arguments but are required int what it means what it means sir here compiler is always going to place so for no argument call so compiler is always going to place so for no argument call sir it's always expecting no argument but in the parent class int argument is available that's why the problem is coming now observe this one sir found no arguments required int argument okay this is so there is a difference in actual and formal argument lists differ in the length this is what what you people should be aware that's why first option is the wrong okay sir why sir second option anyway i showed it's perfectly valid next the uh, why the third one is invalid why what the what the what the reason here do you know why the third here just observe so second option and the third option so here third option but second option is the different sir one minute let me correct the, the second option whatever there by mistake i wrote wrong option have a look once second option what what is there sir this is the second option sir super of super of r this of c sir okay super of r this of c sir why this second option is invalid what is the reason for that is the first line inside every constructor should be super r this are you getting right so but we can't take uh, both the simultaneously we have to take either super or this uh, but not both the simultaneously but here you are taking both the simultaneously invalid sir okay this is the compatible method we are going to get let me cross check sir the second option the second option if you consider what is the answer we are going to get just uh, have a look once sir sir just let me copy paste sir here just the super of r this of c first line no problem at all second line there is a problem okay this should not be you should not take in the second line it should be the first line only like uh, observe that call to this sir observe call to this call to this must be first statement in constructor call to this must be first statement in constructor that's why here you are getting compile time error right okay well so why second option is the wrong it's a very clear next the third one already we checked it's a valid sir what is the fourth one this dot c is equal to r super of c so the problem here is super of c we should not take in the second line either so far or this we have to take only in the first line inside constructor but we are taking in the second line that's why immediately compile time error we are going to get any doubt have a look once sir here i'm trying to take fourth option fourth option this is also invalid option only observe 
observe the problem here just uh, this rc is equal to r sopra of c the total problem is a uh, sopra of c sir because sopra call should be first line inside a constructor but not in the second line call to sopra must be first line inside a constructor observe that call to sopra call to here just the uh, sopra of c have a look once here call to sopra must be sir here call to super call to super must be first statement must be first statement in constructor like we are going to get the problem so the important conclusions about this one if you want to answer so either super or this we have to use only in the first line first line so next uh, we can't use both the simultaneously this point already we discussed sir next uh, one more important conclusion is uh, do you know if a parent class contain okay no, argument constructor while writing child classes compulsory we require to take care about the uh, sir constructor call if you are not taking constructor call no argument constructor call will be there which may leads to compile time error is it clear for all of right so for this which is the correct answer c option c itself is the correct answer right okay well